Motorsports.com. This is for uh, both Coach and Tim. Um, Tim, did, how much do you feel a game like this validates your your ability to play on the next level? Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm not really even thinking about that. Um, you know, that's something that will start tomorrow, and um, and I'll try to get ready for that. Uh, that new chapter, a new challenge in my life. But uh, right now, I'm not really focused on uh, the NFL. I'm trying to enjoy this uh, with a coach I love and a lot of players that I adore. So. I'll help you answer that question. Uh, 31 of 35, 482 yards, three touchdowns, one of the most efficient quarterbacks ever to play the game, a part of two national championships. He's a winner, and uh, unless the job description changes at some other level of football, he's a winner, and he'll win at the next level, too. So, thanks for watching that. You go home tomorrow, you, you know, you wake up, and Shelly just said you've never not coached. Do you have any inkling of, of what the next days, weeks, and months are, are going to be like? No, I don't. Um, I know that uh, I'm anxious to get home. And uh, we'll, we'll address, I'd rather this be about the players. We'll address uh, the future when, when, at the appropriate time. You better be looking forward to get beating some golf. <laughs> <laughs> Throw down. He's got 48 wins in four years, things like that. Um, does it seem like it just could have happened that fast? Does it say, does, how, how do you react after this happens and you start looking, you're going to be saying goodbye to these guys? Well, uh, I, I might reflect a little bit. I've never had a chance to do that. You know, after some of these great wins we've had, I remember the two national championship games we played in, school started four days prior to the actual game, so we're worried about getting guys back in class and, and getting going, and the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. So um, I am going to force myself to sit back and reflect on coaching uh, the, these past five years and certainly these last four years with this group of kids that won so many games. Uh, Urban, why does the devastation of a defeat outweigh the joy of a win? I'm sorry? Why does the devastation of a defeat <clears throat> outweigh the joy of a win? The devastation of a defeat outweigh the joy of a win. Oh, you guys are 26 and 2 over the last two years. That's a great question. That's one I've got to figure out, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of uh, uh, the way you said it makes you think. Uh, could you talk a little bit about just the emotion of it all, your career ending, this tumultuous week for the program and coming out and culminating in that today? It was a big week for the program and, uh, and just, you know, my time at the University of Florida coming to an end uh, seemed like a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, but it was special. It was a lot of fun. Um, just everything that's happened, the relationships that were built, everything that we've done. My time at Florida was special. It was better than a dream. Um, honestly, I dreamed of being a Gator since I was six years old, and it was better than I could have dreamed. Um, and just the, the people I was around, and coaches, and families, and everything, um, it was amazing. And this last week was tough, just dealing with everything, and you know, um, just worried about others around you and stuff. But you know, it, it still was special. And to, to finish it off like this uh, was special. At SEC Media Days, somebody asked you uh, what you thought about Tim Tebow and the history of college football and if he's the greatest player and where he fits into that whole scheme. Uh, you said you'd answer it at the appropriate time. I assume that to me when his career was over. Uh, now that it is, can you kind of talk about how he fits in with the, the history of the game? Well, I, I'm not a historian of the game. I love college football and I have studied it. Uh, it'd be in poor taste for me to, you know, put him just start ranking him above other people I never saw play because I, I, that's that's not fair. I can just give you my personal perspective on him as a, as an athlete, a player, a quarterback, a leader, and a winner. And I can't imagine there's ever been another one better. I'm not saying he's better because once again, I don't. 1920s, 30s, 40s, there's been some great football players all the way through the 80s, 90s. So it's not fair to those other great players. However. One man's opinion is, if there's one better than him, I'd love to shake his hand. Because, uh, in my opinion, he's the best. How do you want to say goodbye to all this, to Gator Nation and the whole deal? Um, honestly, just by saying thank you. Um, thank you for all the memories. Um, uh, everything that has happened, uh, just sticking by us, um, by coach, by me, all the players, and just all the memories that I'll have. Um, <clears throat> and 
uh, that just because I'm, I'm graduating the University of Florida doesn't mean that I'm still not a Gator. I've been a Gator my whole life and I'll always be a Gator. Um, so it's not really saying goodbye, it's just moving on to a new chapter, but I'll still always be a Gator. Urban, with, uh, and for Tim too, you, you sent Tim in for one last play, then brought him off and what, what goes through your mind when, when you know, he comes off and it's kind of like it really is over, you know? And Tim, uh, talk about also a uh, follow up with him, how you felt when, when you got to go out there for that one last play and then come off. Well, we tried to do that. Uh, we've done that before with seniors and, and uh, Riley Cooper, David Nelson, Tim. Was that it? Mm -hmm. The three seniors? Yeah. We had the three seniors, and I just think that I think that's one of the great traditions of college football. That when uh, you do your curtain call, when you've earned that right, uh, I certainly think Riley Cooper with his performance today, David Nelson with what he's meant for Cal for uh, Florida football. Then the obvious is Tim to have him go in there and exit the field the right way. So I'm a big fan of tradition. I'm a big fan of pageantry, especially when it's earned. For me, I was a little bummed Gillespie didn't take that to the house. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it looked like he was going to break it. Um, but it, it's an emotional moment. I know that's your last play as a Gator, and it's something special. And to give Coach Meyer a hug um, and just see the rest of the coaches and guys was extremely special, and it's something that you always remember.